What's going on everybody? Honda Pro Jason here in beautiful Utah. And I am about to show you something that I've never ever covered before. I've never done any real hardcore off-road stuff. Honda Power Sports decided to call me up, said, hey listen, Honda Pro, would you come out and look at our new Honda Talon? Me and a whole bunch of the media guys came out and we're looking at the Honda Talon 1000R and the 1000X. And we got to drive them. And we got to drive them in the most insane terrain I have ever seen in my entire life. There were whoops. I've talked about whoops before. Those are little dips in the road. We went over those whoops at about 40 miles an hour. My teeth are still chattering. We went up this rock climb, this rock wall that was totally insane and so much fun. So what I wanna to talk to you guys about now is some of the differences between the two vehicles and how cool these vehicles are for just like a regular family. You don't have to be like a crazy off-roader. In fact, I'm thinking I want one of these for myself because I think they're that awesome. So it's the Talon X and the Talon R. They're both 1,000 cc's. They're both 104 horsepower. They both seat two people. They're both four-wheel drive. Honda has an i four-wheel drive, which is intelligent four-wheel drive. They're both the same tires, same wheels, and tires, check these things out. These tires are made by Maxxis, and they're specially designed for this vehicle, which means you can't buy these tires at a regular tire shop. You have to go to Honda to get them, which is awesome. These Fox shocks are completely adjustable. You can adjust the front ride height. And these shocks were also specially developed, just like Maxxis did with the tires, specially developed these just for the Talon. So you can adjust all four of them all the way around, depending on what terrain you're on. The vehicles look very similar, but this one here, that's the R, it's five inches longer, it's five inches wider, and the suspension travel on the back is five more inches. So it's five, five, and five. And when you get it on the road, on the dirt, you can totally tell. It feels like a longer, kind of more squatty vehicle. In fact, it took me a little while to get used to it after driving the X. The suspension is also a little bit different. In the R here, you're gonna have a, a four-link suspension, where the other one's just a three-link suspension. But I've talked to the Honda guys, and they said, honestly, in all Honda genius, you could take the parts off the R and almost directly fit them onto the X. Color choices, you got the red, ride red. You got the crazy energy green with the green seats. And you got the blue. And it's interesting because all the seats match and the exterior matches and the suspension matches, except for the green. The green went with a uh, silver but the whole body's green, and then you'll see the red's got all the red as well. Really cool, they match those whole thing. Okay. Let's come inside. So I've learned so much about these vehicles, it is totally insane. So if you guys take a look inside here, let me jump on the other side to show you real quick. It really looks like a car inside. In fact, some of the off-road guys, they refer to this as a car. You have a regular car seat, it's adjustable forward and backward, you have a gas pedal and a brake pedal, you have shifters, so this is a full automatic transmission, a DCT. Now this is super important because most of the other vehicles in this class, they're belt driven, they're a CVT. And a lot of these off-road guys, they bring two or three CVT belts with them because they burn them up. And this actually has gears. So you can drive it in automatic mode, you can drive it in normal uh, manual mode, and you can use these as paddle shifters, which we did and it was super, super awesome. It also has a hill start assist. Now this got a little weird for me because in Hondas and normal cars, they all have hill start assist and it's just on automatically. This one here, you actually have to turn it on when you want to use it and holds you for about two seconds, which didn't make sense to me. But then later I realized that a lot of times, especially on the rock crawls, you want to be able to slide backwards and get a better grip. So this experience was simply outstanding. I'm gonna show you guys some more footage now of what me and Sam do did. Sam is from Super Straight and we were driving partners. It was so insane, we had so much fun. So check out that footage now.
Honda's tagline is life is better SXS, which is life is better side by side. And after driving these out here, I agree 100%. Life is better side by side. How awesome was that? I'm, I'm telling you, my cheeks still hurt from how much I was smiling. So we drove the X and we drove the R and we loved both of them. So Honda, I just wanna say thank you so much for having us out. It was a pleasure, it was so much fun. I look forward to hopefully covering more off-road and more motorsports, power sports stuff later. So Honda, thank you. And as always guys, this time from Utah, I'm the Honda Pro and now you're in the know.